Today, we're gonna be doing something different. I've already made, you know, the basic shape videos, heart shapes, circle shape, and now we are finally stepping it up. We are gonna make a cat shape house. You heard me, a cat shape house. <laughs> So the cat face is basically two triangles and then a circle. In Bloxburg, there's no such thing as like a perfect circle, but you know, you can slightly rotate the walls like this and try to make a slightly circular shape. I know I, I just gave up here, but you kind of see what I mean. I only want this to be like one floor. So I am making this a bit of a large shape. I mean, it's, it's not that large, you know, like it's pretty much a one bedroom sort of place. Maybe I can try to fit two bedrooms in the ears like here. <laughs> you know what, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think that's possible. You know, you look at it from here and you're like, cat but then you turn it over here and it looks a little bit like a bird. It's trying to eat a worm. This is gonna be our shape. That totally looks like a cat. I'm gonna add plain pillars in every single corner. Then we gotta add the roof. I'm gonna go for a flat roof because we wanna be able to highlight the shape. Hey, look at that, it's doing a little bit of a glitchy thing. I'm not gonna do an automatic placement because for some reason it's a little glitchy when I do that. I'm just gonna do it like this. It's still doing the bump. This game is messing with me. What? Oh, okay, okay, there it is, there it is, there it is. Okay, it's doing the glitch, it's doing the glitch. Uh, For some reason it thinks that there's like a wall over here, but there isn't. I want a fine French double door. I want this one. So I'm gonna use a flat roof and the basement game pass to create this little porch. Wait, wait, I haven't done this before. Kind of like a stepping stone sort of vibe. And then I'm gonna place another one, another one of these flat roofs, but I'm gonna lower them like a smidge. So it's a little taller than the grass. I mean, this is probably really annoying like to step on, but it looks looks kind of cool, maybe unnecessary. Oh, it looks like a cat lollipop. I colored them symmetrical bricks, colored them, I materialized them. I don't even know what you're supposed to say. I'm just decorating the front of the house, like adding trees and whatnot to make it look a little nicer. I'm gonna be using the traditional double windows. And maybe I should add two over here. I'm in the mood for like a very cute style today. Wait, why is everything within me wanting a door right here? I don't know why, but lately I've just been doing like front door here, back door here. I'm gonna raise every single pillar so it is the roof. I feel like I should have made this decision before I placed every single pillar. So I wouldn't have to individually resize each one. Should I make it seashell? Should we go for like a pink style house today? No, it's actually so cute. I don't know what to do for the top here. <laughs> if you add planks, they all go to this corner. I don't know why. They're just all pointed right here. I think I'm just gonna color it like concrete and pearl and call it a day. In my head, I can kind of still see everything pointing in this direction. Is it just me? I'm very tempted to put these classic hanging lights right here. We should put it at our backyard. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, should we do something cool? Okay, okay, wait, I have a bit of an idea. What if we use the plain short fence and we try to do something here? Wait, do you see what I mean? We can create a little bit of a design and it'll look really cool. What if I do like sideways like this? Maybe this will look good. Yeah, 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 that looks nice. That looks actually really good. I love this. Should I do this on top of our backyard as well? Okay, this is gonna be harder, I think. Maybe I should put a pillar here and here. The way it looks from underneath is such a vibe. The exterior is not the best, so I'm trying to make up for it with these fancy little things. Floor plan time, floor plan time. Kitchen, living room, bedroom one, bedroom two, bathroom. I accidentally put a front door. See, it's got that little handle here. You like use this to hit the door. I feel like this is a strawberry house, but it's meant to be a cat house. It's one of those Netflix series. Is it cake? Oh, wait, what if I make it all marble? Wait, why does it look like that? Oh, it's glitching. <laughs> for the rooms, I'm just gonna put carpet. I should definitely add some wall trim. I actually remember to do it like early on. I am impressed with myself. I truly am becoming a wall trim master. I want to grab the traditional bookshelf and I want to kind of squeeze it in here. I'm just gonna use the curved opening. I prefer it over the square opening. Like this just looks more natural. Over here, this is gonna be our kitchen. So we're gonna use subway tiles. At least I think I'm gonna use subway tiles. Maybe I'm gonna use something different. Nope, nope. I'm gonna use subway tiles. Ooh, this is at an angle. That's a bit of an issue. There's our icebox fridge. I feel like it's fitting a little awkwardly. Maybe if I bring it forward. Now it just feels like it's a part of the wall. Now I'm gonna be upset about these windows. <laughs> They're gonna look uneven on the exterior now because I'm like changing them, but I don't know what else to do. What is this? Wait, why is this happening? Is it because our, <gasps> is it because our fridge is there? Seriously? Maybe if I put it here. The one thing I know about Bloxburg, just put floor plants in places that there's issues. And if you think the exterior is no good, just put trees. I'm actually gonna color the fridge pink because I mean, it is an overall like pastel, pastel build. Toaster, coffee maker, and a blender. So this 
this is the kitchen so far. I think it looks pretty okay. And we're gonna move on into the entry. Basically, we won't put some stairs and stuff. Oh my gosh, it's so bright. You gotta recolor this art decor moment. It might catch on fire, but it won't. It's Bloxburg. Nothing catches on fire over here. We're safe. I wanna put a carpet over here and I'm thinking of using this heart one and we maybe can create some sort of a design. Maybe something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want it to be like this because it looks like a cloud. I'm just gonna recolor it so we can see it a little bit better. I feel like maybe it's a little too bright. I mean, what happens if we put carpet material? I'm scared that it's gonna like overlap with each other. Yep. So I'm just gonna make it all smooth plastic. I haven't done this in a while. You get these quadratic end tables and you just like pile them on top of each other. I don't know. I kind of like the look of it. I actually kind of like this. I used both of the transitional sectional corners. For the coffee table, I'm using two of the contemporary ones. I'm gonna put a mug right here because they were drinking a little bit of coffee. Maybe I'll put a second mug as well because I mean, there are two bedrooms here and I'm gonna make this one blue. I want a wall mounted TV. So I'm gonna get the Accu Slim 2 and I'm gonna put it right above the fireplace. Oh, we can have matching decals. I wonder what it's gonna be. I feel like this is pretty much done and we can move on into the bathroom. I just remembered that we should definitely put some curtains. We can fit the hygienic shower in this corner. It's still a little awkwardly empty here, but I think we can add a floor plan and it's gonna solve it. I hate it when the camera looks like this. Like it's so, ugh. But anyways, I don't know how else I can show you the bathroom. So this is what we've done so far. Finally, we can move on to the bedrooms. If you noticed before when I showed the layout, there's these two areas that I carved out for both rooms. Basically, we're gonna be putting our custom wardrobes in there. If you wanna do your custom wardrobe, obviously you use two clear window frames on both of these walls and then you go into storage and you choose the traditional closet. Choose whichever one you want. You could obviously like finish your custom wardrobe like this, but what I like to do is get the classic shutters, put them on the clear window frames if it attaches. I don't know why it's giving me a hard time. You have your shutters and they look like this when you open them. I don't know, I think it looks pretty realistic and nice. We have a whole area here that's empty. So I'm gonna put a traditional bookshelf. Maybe I'm gonna put like a chair over here. Ooh, a tufted one, why not? I think I'm gonna use the curved single bed and I have no clue how I'm gonna place it. You know what we gotta do? We gotta put a floor plan right there. I'm kind of tempted to use the quadratic desk. Obviously we're gonna use the pairing tosh. They got some papers over here, some super thick papers. I don't know, they're studying for the exams. Somebody told me in the comments that they never see me put trashes, but it's like, what do you mean? I think I put them in like every build. And I started doing this thing where I add instruments to the bedrooms for a little bit more personality. I feel like this is pretty good for the first bedroom and now we can move on into the second bedroom. I don't think this one's gonna look too different from the first one. The only difference is pretty much gonna be that we're gonna be using more blue in that one. For this person, I'm gonna give them the hairpin desk. Look at their keyboard, it is filthy. I cannot recolor those by the way, they just stay brown. I actually don't even know what to do with the rest of the space. What if I give them like a weightlifting bench? This is the second bedroom so far and now we can move to the backyard. Honestly, for the backyard, I don't have like too much to do. I'm gonna grab this rustic planter box because it reminds me of like this little design we have here. And then I'm gonna grab the floor. I'm gonna recolor it to be concrete. We're gonna use plain markings and trust me, it's gonna look so awesome once we do this. Now you grab the plain markings and you color them grass. It looks like this. I feel like they would have like these plastic sun chairs for some reason. <gasps> Wait, I can just put it side to side like this. It's nice that both of their bedrooms are right here just looking at the shared backyard. To like finish it, I'm gonna give this person a pink book and this person a blue book. I guess we're just gonna grab some trees and do a little bit of landscaping. I could totally see some flower bushes. This is gonna be like really expensive, but I think it'll be worth it for how it's gonna look. The total cost of this house is 91,000. As you can see, it's a cash shaped house. It's so cute. This is the house exterior. I like that I leaned into this like blush sort of style. Why am I in the bushes? Over here is our uh, interesting new stepping pattern. It's very, very cute. That's the best way to describe it. We have a very tiny kitchen, but we managed to get all of our essentials in here. Oh wait, let me do it in first person because I know you guys prefer first person. And I like that the fridge is like inside the wall. I feel like that's a really cool thing. I'm sorry if you saw this curtain is like the ugly blue. I changed it to pink. I'm so sorry. Here is our living room. Pretty cozy. Here is our bathroom. I feel like we have like a decent amount of space. It does feel a little cluttered. If we just go forward. Over here are the two bedrooms with slightly different personalities. This one is extremely pink. Obviously we do have a little bit of blue. They play the acoustic guitar. So we got everything we need over here, including the pairing tosh. Here we have a more blue pastel style. For once, I used a workout item. <laughs> this person over here plays the electric guitar. So yeah, variety. Over here is our backyard. We got two lounge chairs. We made the rooms inside the cat ears. I didn't expect 
expect us to do that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm underground. Wait, whoa. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Love you guys so much. Bye.